Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for the text in my last edit. It's going to be a little fast, so you can slow down the video if you want. Um, so grab the text tool and type in whatever you want, and then go to the line and center it in your frame. <coughs> Carrot down next to your text tool. <coughs> go to text and add um, position and animate it, I mean, and then add a, a animate opacity as well. Then you go to the animator and add a wiggly selector. For your position values, you want to go five on each of the axes and opacity, you want to set it to 50. Um, in your wiggles per second, change it to one. So it's a little too fast at two. Um, you get this nice little like offset animation, um, which looks really nice. So the next thing you want to do is go to um, type in CC scale wipe in your effects and presets and um, make sure your center's in a nice place and um, change the direction to 180 degrees. Um, one thing I forgot to do here is you gotta um, take off your scale wipe and pre-compose your text layer before you add it. Um, and then you want, you're gonna animate um, stretch and center. Um, figure out however long you want the melting effect to last and um, adjusting the stretch value will you know make it melt more. And um, the center will change where it will start melting from uh, honestly, I started using this effect pretty recently, so I don't really know the perfect values yet. Um, so I suggest that you just play around with whatever until you figure out exactly what, you know, the effect you want to achieve. Um, I play around with this for a little bit. And then I end up deciding that I want to put the keyframes at the end of um, five seconds ahead. And I think the effect looks pretty nice here. So I decided to move on to the next phase. Um, so just duplicate your, <clears throat> your pre-composition and add S Cloud Psycho. Um, go down to the Combine section and turn on Molt instead of Clouds Only. And then go to Saturation and turn it on Zero. Then add Deep Glow in your effects and presets. And turn the mode to add on your duplicated pre-composition. Um, and since my computer sucks, I have to turn back to quarter. Um, so that's pretty much the tutorial. Um, as soon as this pre-renders, you can see what I ended up with. And uh, just like the video and subscribe if you want me to see if you want to see more tutorials like this, um, and comment down what other effects and stuff you want me to do tutorials on because I'm I can do anything really. Uh, <laughs> and thanks for the support on the last video. I really appreciate it. Um, and I just recommend playing around with everything I added here to make it suit your edit more because I'm not perfect. So <laughs> see ya.